quite a sensitive subject. I mean, particularly in light of quite high profile recent events, it, huge pressure and responsibility on you to yeah. portray this responsibly. Massive. And I think I really felt that as well, because when Scott came into the show, he was such a comedy character mm -hmm. and um, he was really flamboyant, larger than life and stuff. And then the producers told me about this story and I just thought, I really need to do this justice. Mm -hmm. And that was really important to me. How did um, you go about sort of getting into it then? Did you know people who'd been in a in a terrible state and yeah, well, and researcher? The, um, the, the story team were brilliant and the researchers um, set up a kind of an interaction workshop day with people mm. from the charity's mind and the Samaritans as well. Mm. And that was really interesting because we just got to find out about real life experiences mm. of people who had suffered, mm. you know, mental illness. And, um, and, and I used a lot of that in, in the prep mm. for, for doing it. You wore a lucky suit. I did. You, to yes. the Soap Awards. I did. I wore my wedding suit. Oh. Well, I got married in April and, um, oh. and, and that was the suit that I wore for my wedding. So I thought, well, why not give it another, another outing? Oh, oh. And, it, and it certainly did. What I love about your story is that you were a writer, weren't you? I was a storyliner. On, on a rival, I, I on a was. rival show? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I actually started, I was the PA to the producer of Coronation Street. So my job back then, I used to get the cast ready for the awards. I used to make sure they were on the red carpet on time. The stress I had with Michelle Keegan having to get her ready and on the red carpet. <laughs> it was unbelievable. All eyes on her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, so uh, what were you like when you had your red carpet moment? Then were you demanding or were you it's just... It's terrifying. I hate it. It's all, I mean, you guys will be used to it by now. Yeah, but I, oh, yeah, we're mobbed every time we go out. Oh, I bet, Richard. <laughs> but uh, honestly, it is. It's, I just feel like it's so, it feels so bizarre to kind of stand there and, and, and have my picture taken. Oh. When... It's funny you say that, because Nicola Thorpe was in earlier this week yeah, yeah. Um, talking about how women are treated differently on the red carpet mm. to men. Mm. Um, lots of people would say, well, you know, if you don't like it, don't do it. But yeah. People, you are expected to, and of course you're invited to because you're an award winner. Yeah. But it is a yeah. pressure, isn't it? It is a pressure. I do kind of feel like women are under more pressure than we are because we don't get scrutinised, mm. you know. I wore my wedding suit and I think two people mentioned it on Twitter, that was it. You know, whereas <laughs> if I was, you know, right. I think for, for women, it's if they wear the same dress twice, that gets... Is it when you see people like me with a microphone on the red carpet that you visibly stiffen and think, I'm off? No, we love seeing you, Richard. But, uh, but we do. But, um, but I think it's just scary when you don't know what to, what to expect okay. or what people are going to ask. Or, I think Hollyoaks tackles kind of issue-based storylines unlike any other mm. soap, really. And given mm. our uh, audience demographic, that we, are, we, we, have, we tend to have a bit of a younger audience, yeah. I think the stories that we tell and the way that we mm. tell them, especially in the, with, with all the constraints of compliance and making sure that, you know... Sure. It's it's very, and very, you've got so, some more special guests, That's right. You'll probably yeah. need a helpline after uh, future episodes of Hollyoaks, one in particular mm. featuring a very special guest star, I'm told. Absolutely. Oh. None other than TV's very own Richard Arnold. Thank you Yay! very much. Yeah. Are you? What are you playing, Richard? It's a leap of faith. I'll be playing myself. Uh, um, the hardest role to fulfil. I would dig deep, but I'm shallower than a puddle. Uh, but um, I've been sent the script, mm -hmm. and it involves me prone by a swimming pool, because that's just what I need after watching Love Island all week, oh, yeah. to be half naked with a load of people half my age. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know what clout you've got with the script writers oh, on Hollyoaks, well. but I will pad my part. Are you going to be in oh. scenes together? I really hope so. I've not read those scripts yet. But Have I you not? So. Yeah. I've they might that. not exist. It might be in his mind. Oh, do you think? He's going to be leaning into every shot. <laughs> yeah. like that. You're basically just skulking around the set. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, actually.